Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Capital Allocation Channel. So today I want to give you an overview of a new series I'm starting, which I go through all of the small cap privacy coins that I expect to possibly moon in the future. So I want to give you a detailed overview of each of these coins in the future, show you how to set up the wallets, and then begin to do technical analysis and updates on these coins. So today is just an introduction video, and I want to go through some of the candidates I'm looking at. As always, if you have some suggestions, definitely the community can bring these, if you're willing to, to my attention, and I can go over some of these and uh, together get a better idea of which of these coins are most likely to do well in the future. So to get started, I'm going to go through the top privacy coins on coin market cap. As we know, Monero is still the king of privacy coins at the moment. Uh, Zcash, I was actually surprised that it's so close to Monero. That was interesting. Uh, Zen, we got a billion dollar market cap here. I think this could still go higher. And in fact, uh, the way things are looking, I think... Um, at least as far as I know, Monero, Zcash, Zcash, and Horizon could do very well, but obviously timing of entry could be important. Uh, a few that I'm not familiar with, these are more medium cap, so these aren't the type of coins that I'm going to focus on. I'm going to focus more on the smaller caps, but if anyone knows about Secret, Flux, Verge, these medium cap coins... Uh, please leave a comment. I would be happy to hear. Um, and just going through some of uh, John McAfee's talks, he's suggesting that 90% of cryptos are a scam, essentially. So the idea is we have to figure out which one of these are scams. If it is truly 90%, then it should be easy to narrow that down and just buy the ones that aren't a scam. So anyway... Um, a couple of our favorites here, Pirate Chain and Darrow. These things have been going down recently. And that trend could continue, but I'm happy to shake out some of the weak hands and wait for a better entry price um, because I think these two could definitely do very well in the future, along with Haven. Uh, again, this thing has been... Uh, it's down 20% in the last week. So to me, in the future, I just see that as a buying opportunity, but obviously want to wait until all of the weak hands are shaken out and then go ahead and get a better entry price here. Um, so Epic Cash. Uh, I've, I've, been, I've had a few... Uh, I've discussed this on a few of my recent videos, so this thing has been mooning lately. Um, hopefully some of you guys got in on this move here. Um, it is very extended at the moment. We could get a pullback, and then it's really up to market sentiment whether this thing continues to go on all-time highs. Um, pretty small market cap. I could see this at least doubling. Um in the near future however this thing is going vertical at the moment so i'm not trying to chase it i'd rather this thing um come back down and catch it on another swing but like i said i i discussed this recently so hopefully um, some of you got in and were able to make some gains on this coin here so oxen um and if i've missed any of these if you know anything about this let me know if there's any one of these you want me to cover that i'm missing um, this is just an overview and i want to do further research on all of these coins um, start downloading the wallets take you through all this and start to get an idea of um, what these coins do so oxen is they're saying it's a privacy suite um, so things that you can build on this 
um, peer-to-peer networks, uh, truly encrypted voice and video call service, Onion VPN. Um, so all of these different things that can theoretically uh, be built on this encrypted Slack competitor. Uh, so I'm not familiar with any of this. Again, I'm, this is just an overview. If anyone knows anything, please let me know. Um, Grin. So Grin, I believe, is just essentially a currency, um, a private currency. I do know these things have small miners uh, that I've heard could be profitable. That's another thing I want to take you all through is if I can find some good coins here, I want to start figuring out how to set up miners. So if you're interested in that, um, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm going to try to get to setting up miners, showing you how to go through all that in the near future. So Xano. So um, this is basically a scalable coin designed for use in e-commerce. Um, so that is what this is supposed to be. If this is true, uh, that does seem like it could be promising. And this is a really tiny market cap. So uh, if this thing gets any interest, this thing could definitely moon. Uh, wow, narrow, just a meme coin, uh, very small market cap. Who knows? We've seen meme coins going crazy. So potential there. AEON, so this is essentially uh, a currency, private uh, currency for mobile devices. So in theory, this would be a very interesting idea. And again, um, a market cap of only six million. So it doesn't take much to get these things to pump. Um, Turtle coin, I guess it's just a just simply a currency. There's not much here on the website except for how to get a wallet. If anyone knows anything about this, I'd be interested to hear. Conceal. Uh, I think I have this somewhere. Yeah, here. So Conceal, uh, they're saying is uh, decentralized fi finance, privacy protected DeFi. If this is true, uh, this thing is could be interesting and at least I know they have a really nice looking website so I don't know how much that means but um, they have a lot on here and I'm looking forward to doing more research about this if, if this is true again that could be one that really pumps big time uh, ghost so as you all know I've spoken about ghost in the future what I like about this uh, one, its relationship to John McAfee, so I think um, that good could give it some interest. Um, you know, his death, uh, theoretically, I would think that would have brought interest to it, but hey, maybe we can bring back the potential interest here. So this is proof of stake. Uh, that's another interesting thing that I find about this coin, as you can just stake your coins, make passive income while you sleep, so and get away from the fiat so hey i mean seems great and look less than five million dollar market cap so again this thing could moon deep onion uh, so this is a way it's a deep vault blockchain notary service so you can register your digital files that could definitely be useful uh, there would be definitely use cases for this i mean uh, for example, not just files like we could use, but there could be types of uh, coins like this that could register deeds of houses or official documents, things of that nature. So I'm going to have to do more research about this one. Um, it's not the most interesting, you know, just registering files, but hey, could be useful and definitely with this market cap could go up big time stealth so stealth is supposed to be the fastest private digital currency I don't necessarily know how important the speed is I would rather have um, something that is very secure necessarily than fast but 
Uh, definitely, this is something I'm going to look at. Cloak coin. So, this one's interesting. Um, the website looks okay. I don't know. It's looked a little janky at first. Uh, but if anyone could verify, is this true? If this is true, again, proof of stake. So that's one advantage. You're getting 6% interest. Uh, just making money while you sleep. Uh, the block time is the fastest out of all of these coins, except for Zcash. Um, auditable coin supply. Supposedly that is true with only 5.5 million coins. So very low number of coins again if this is true and that could definitely lead to this going up in the future along with uh, speed and uh, the proof of stake if this is all true and again i'm going to have to do more research if anyone knows anything please let me know enigma this was another one This one's pretty generic, didn't really say much. Again, I'll have to do more uh, digging in this one. This is a super tiny market cap. Um, yeah, a few, few different ones here. Iridium. So, yeah, again, a lot of options here. I'm going to start going through all of these setting up wallets, um, doing some more research, and again, let me know if you, if there's anything I missed here, if there's anything that you think is important, and hey, if any of these that you know are a scam, let me know definitely. So thank you all for watching. I'm really excited about uh, this new small cap series, and once I know more, I want to give just regular updates, looking at the technicals, and keeping you guys up to date with what is, what is pumping, what's dumping, and what's going on with these small cap coins. So take care, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.